It wasn't recording last time. <laughs> I thought I could just hit. I thought I could just like F. That's that space is lost to time. <laughs> but hello, uh, welcome to space part two. <laughs> the spacing. <laughs> I'm still on this gosh dang deserted island. It's day, uh, I lost track after day, like, three? Because day three was when I made the, the cabin, right? The little, the shack. But yeah, so anyway, just do that all, every, what, what, what happens? Um, yeah, just say all that again. <laughs> When I saw the recording pop, I realized what we have done, Sedge. It's fine. Now Twitter won't know that I did a shot on stream. I can do another shot. We gotta we gotta re we gotta reenact it one to one. <laughs> we gotta reenact the stream one to one. Are you guys ready? <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, um I I might end soon ish. I just wanted to say hi and have an actual ending to this space. Hey, so this in between space is gonna throw it up now. Follow crypto. No, no, win it. It's new and don't like it. <laughs> it's a way for companies to make more money. They already companies already got money. I don't need more money. I don't need more money. I want my cookies. <laughs> my cookies. <laughs> I found a packet of cookies up in a tree the other day. They look like uh, vanilla Oreos. Mm. Very good. They say festival vanilla on them. And vanilla, va vanilla and vanilla. Spelled two different ways. We have to just have a DM group chat. For the for chat <laughs> instead of an actual chat. <laughs> and also, all all my friends are busy. <laughs> mm. And I fish this drink. I'm out of drink. I need more drink. Okay, so I. Got Earlier, I built a shack, right? Hold on, am I being raided? Because that's why I locked the door earlier because I thought I was being raided. Okay, we're good. I don't know why I put the fridge outside of the shack, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they can they can raid the fridge, and uh, they can see that um, they're like, oh, well, we raided the fridge. There must nothing be nothing else here. And then they don't know that I got all the stuff in the shack, you see. I thought maybe you just got raided when the space ended. <laughs> I did say, don't be surprised if the space ends abruptly. Uh, so I got my, my soda I fished out of the ocean. It's like, kind of, it's like, oh no. Is the space still going? Oh, whoa. Well, okay, it looks like it's still going. My phone fell asleep while pouring my soda. So I fished this soda out of the sea. And I also got this bottle of VOD seawater. Seawater. It's seawater. It's just like, a, it's a mana potion, actually. What did we say last time? It's a mana potion. I can't believe I'm doing a second shot of this mana potion. Because the space didn't record. Space is alive. Okay. But well, we got it. We got it. We need it. We're doing it for the VOD. How is it not absolute seawater? Ah, oh, that's too big. That's too big of a, a shot of seawater. Mana potion, whatever you want to call it. Congratulations on the mana pot, by the way. Yeah, it's like in Terraria. Terraria, right? Uh, this is very awkward with the fridge and the phone. 
and the little rock to, that I have the phone on to the right of the fridge. Okay. Can I use a water bolt? That's crazy. Okay. Also, uh, daylight savings is dead. Dab, 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 dab. I don't know why I'm actually dabbing. <laughs> I don't need to dab. Judge, you can just say dab like I usually do without actually. It's just, it's just, okay, you know what? Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> they literally, they literally just woke up. The, the U.S. Senate just kind of woke up one day and was like, hey, it, the clock just changed. They woke up and they're like, ah, oh, this sucks. Can we just like stop it? And they're like, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Actually, we can do that. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. And they're like, okay, end of story. Don, gone forever. Goodbye. The clocks are going to change two more times starting next year. We're just going to stay on daylight savings time and never go back. Or her grandchildren ever ask, hey, daddy, why did you, did you, is it true that you used to change the clocks twice a year and cause everybody seasonal depression and i was like well yes we did and it was dumb so we did but it's gone it's gone we're gonna it's gonna change again in november and then change again in next march and then it'll be gone we'll have a big party we'll have a big clock changing party in march it'll be great so anyway yeah we did it we beat seasonal depression high five Hell yeah. So this this shot of seawater, uh <coughs> okay. Shot of seawater to the death of changing clocks. <coughs> Where's my chaser? <coughs> Did I get it all? As a little, I need more chaser. Hold on, <laughs> I can always fish up more soda. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Am I being raided? I thought I heard something. Future generations reading about COVID era, they just see daylight savings get erased. Guys, good things can happen. <laughs> Listen, all all the only thing that it cut the only sacrifice that we had to pay was a uh, a pandemic and World War 3. And then World War 3 button bad animation. <laughs> Listen, so many bad things have happened. We got we started we had a pandemic, we had World War 3, we had a rushed index season 3. <laughs> But listen, sometimes good things can happen. Here, Mr. Nagai, can you please hold my drink while I close my door to my shack? Okay. He really explained to fishing while he sleeps and eats. I listen, I fish that up and I put it in my fridge. Right. It was great. <laughs> Where did Tevin go? Did Tevin just die again? Oh, hello. Can we add, uh, is that Biffy? <gasps> is it Biffy? Holy shoot, it's Biffy. Invite him to the group chat. Invite him to the group chat. He just DM'd me. <laughs> DK Jar. Mar, how did you invite everybody else to the group chat? <laughs> how do you invite <laughs> Oh, add people. Okay. Add. Is that, did that work? Did I add him? I'm very debata debating uh, when I upload this to YouTube uh, to, add in, to add in the chat. It would take a lot of effort to manually add in this chat. But, oh, he's here. Dab, dab, dab. I need some sort of shank. Okay, I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send a shank message, okay? 
Okay, future me trying to edit a video is a bad idea. No, this is a bad idea. That's not going to work. So I'm probably just going to screen record it while I record the audio. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll figure it out. Guys, don't worry. I'm the professional. I've been doing this for over a decade. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You can also post pictures. Don't post any bad pictures. <laughs> can I post any pictures? I mean, I can. Is it a good idea? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have no pictures. I apologize. I have no pictures. <laughs> have the Kirby again. <laughs> I saw a Chilean flamingo in that one picture. Remember you said you were in Europe and I was very confused. I was, I'm in Europe. <laughs> I'm just as confused about you are. I have literally no idea where I am. For Biffy and all the VOD watchers. Uh, if you don't know, I'm on a deserted island. I got kidnapped. Uh, well, let's say 800,000 days ago. I lost track after three. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> when did he say that? <laughs> but yeah, I got kidnapped and, uh, thrown in an airplane and I woke up on a deserted island and I've been here ever since. <laughs> so that's cool. But I've made some friends. I built, I built this shack, this little shack. I'm really curious where Biffy's getting his information. I thought he said Netherlands or something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's just a that was just a working theory I had. I said something something south of Netherlands. But it's like way too hot. <laughs> we Dutch. I saw I did see uh while salvaging for parts for my breakfast nook, I did see a sign that was in Dutch. But again, I can't I can't all I can't be in the Netherlands because it's like eighty degrees. Dude, I know that's a Chilean Chilean flamingo. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Isn't Chile, Chile? Chile is not on an island. I I circled the island on my UTV the other day. It's not a. It's we're no. It's not Chile. I I got went around the circumference of the island. <laughs> Although I am glad that you're actually trying to help because I really would really like to know where I would where I am. Because if I knew where I was, if I knew what island I was on. Chilean flamingos. Are those really Chilean flamingos? Let me go see that picture again. I might also put up the pictures too. If I really want to be super highly editing. I thought they were just flamingos. They just look like regular flamingos to me. I don't know, man. <laughs> They're called Chilean flamingos. Red feet and red knees with a cre creepy beak and face with the sharp eyes. Chilean flamingos. Where are they native to? Where are they native to? Because I could just start swimming. I could. I built. I. Me and the pirates built this uh, shack that I'm in. So I could just start like build a like a little raft. I learned how to build a raft from Kingdom Hearts One. You need like four wood and a sail and some papal fruit. <laughs> But if I, I just need to know what direction I'm going in. Because I could be like in the Pacific Ocean. I could be in the specific ocean. I could be in the non-specific ocean. I could be in the Atlantic Ocean. I can't believe Five Wars Phone lost its location feature like Samus and Prime 1. Exactly, right? This A weird glowing uh, palm tree is giving me internet, but I cannot get GPS. Wow. That is exactly the flamingo I saw. Lifespan 40 to 50 years. Dude, my baby flamingo is going to be with me for the rest of my days. Yeah, that is exactly a Chilean flamingo. Thank you for the for the help. I will could add that somewhere. <laughs> I like to know the names of the birds that I see. I literally work with birds. I know my flamingo shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> LFG. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, let's just start from the beginning. Because <laughs> Biffy is obviously very confused. So on the um, March twelfth at six thirty a.m., I was kidnapped. I was I was just sleeping, and uh, I I got like a bag thrown over my head. And luckily, I packed a, a suitcase with clothes <laughs> and uh, my phone and switch <laughs> and phone charger. And uh, yeah. So they, they grabbed me, they grabbed my bags, and they threw me in an airplane. And I don't know how long I, I got. I passed out at some point. And then I and then when I woke up, I was on a deserted island. What time? What was the time difference in that? In case I'm really lazy and I don't put pictures on the VOD. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that was at 6 a.m. And then... At 8.30 p.m., I woke up on the deserted island again. Who knows how long I was on that flight? Who knows how long I was uh, dying? But yeah, I woke up on the deserted island, and then then I asked, anyone have any good fishing tips? I'm hungry. And then Dom actually gave me, like, a, like a real fishing tip. He said, he said, changing your bait up a bit to something like shrimp or octopus strips when fishing in the ocean works better since they're more common in those waters outside. And I said, thanks for the help. I was able to catch a green-tailed margarita. Pretty rare for this late into the season. And it worked out well, you know. Luckily, I found some shrimp, shrimps and octopus strips nearby where I, where I woke up. And then um, I was able to get a, that, that fish margarita. <laughs> And Dom is a fishing fiend. I thought it was just a meme. I thought it was just a, a FF14 fisher. But no, he's like an actual fishing champion. <laughs> the master of fishing. So yeah. Da -da -da -da. But I was still hungry, so I, uh, I went to bed. <laughs> because if I can't get food, then I can at least sleep. Da -da -da. Then day two of Deserted Island. The fish yesterday was pretty good, but today I'm going to try to hunt something. And there was some palm trees in the background. And then during that day, I ran into some pirates. Those pirates were pretty sick. I know I'm recording a Twitter space. <laughs> Those pirates were pretty... What is this? Inside your vacuum cleaner. It's Kirby. Adorable. Terraria is a fishing game, and he said that game doesn't let him go. Terraria? Oh, yeah, he was playing Terraria. <clears throat> anyway, I met some pirates. <laughs> they were very nice. They they gave me some food, and uh, they helped me build this shack in exchange for some services. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, yeah, so... <laughs> uh, they were very nice. I don't remember any of their names, but they had a lot of uh, Spanish and uh, Dutch names. Which uh, lines up earlier with what I was with what I was saying about how I saw and found some signs in Dutch, so that's pretty cool. Chill pirates. Why haven't I named a? Why haven't I gotten a Roomba named him Kirby? Anyway, I think I had there was a Roomba like uh, back back on my days on the mainland. Uh, my mom had a Roomba. And we put googly eyes on it. And then one of his googly eyes fell off. And he approached me in a dark hallway and it freaked me out. <laughs> Just a one-eyed Roomba. The Pirates 2014? Uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, they were pretty cool. Uh, they gave me some food. And um, back in the before times... <laughs> Not the, the before times, not before the Backstreet Boys, but in the before I was deserted on this deserted island. Well, which, who knows when that was. So, yeah. Um, doo -doo, that was the pirates. That's a good picture of the pirates. It doesn't really look like a pirate ship. Apparently, um, Pirates don't, like, show their flags, like, all the time because they want to be in disguise and they want, like, a sneak attack. So they, like, sneak up to somebody, and then when they're, when they're in view, then they fly their pirate flags. 
uh, which works. You know, it's all about marketing. I'm telling you, everything is about marketing. There's nothing that's not about marketing. <laughs> but yeah, that's how that's how pirates work. <laughs> and they take the flag because they they don't want to fight, right? I think CG, CGP Gray made a video about it. Pretty fun video about the economics of being a pirate. And uh, talking to those pirates, yeah, pretty similar. Okay, I've been eating these vanilla Oreos that I got from a tree, like a madman. You gotta split them apart. And then, mm, that's good. Before Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the game is after game of the year. Huh? No! I dropped some butter over my forearm. No! Get out of there. I got frosting in my... Okay. My phone. <laughs> back straight back. All right! Okay, don't get me singing. So tell me why ain't nothing but a... <clears throat> I'm choking my food. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, the pirates are cool. <laughs> they they were they were my bros. They helped me build this shack that I'm currently living in. That I uploaded a video on my Twitter. I sure I could also include that into this vod just for funsies. So anyway, day three on this, this deserted island. This time, for sure, I'm going to hunt something. And I also said, I have no idea where I am or how I'm getting home. The only clue I found is that it's really hot, like mid-80s Fahrenheit, almost 30 Celsius. Really hot for, like, March. Apparently, I escaped a snowstorm where I was. There was a giant snowstorm that happened, like, two seconds as I left. <laughs> Before I passed out, I heard the the pilot say something about um, that there's going to be a snowstorm, so there might be some turbulence. <laughs> the Pirates 2014 are cool. Yeah, pretty true. What? Biffy. We're, uh, we lost heaven and got Biffy back. We had to make a blood equivalent exchange. Is that what's going to happen on this island? Is that why I got here on this island? So I was looking the word got it. Yeah, there was snow here. Where are you? Where are you? I'm scared. Don't. <laughs> in freaking March. I don't know. There had to have been snow in March when I went to Japan. I don't remember, dude. I don't remember. That was that. But going back to daylight savings time, because, you know, me, I can't stay on one topic. Uh, that was something I definitely missed li about living in Japan and Arizona is mm, so nice not to have daylight savings. You have no idea how how bad that affects seasonal depression, <laughs> like having like having the sun go down at like five p.m. or like four p.m. and it's like you gotta be kidding me, man. I don't know if that's actually gonna help though, because they're gonna stay on daylight savings time. Whatever, it's closer to Japan. Because right now, East Coast is, um, Japan is 13 hours ahead of East Coast. And three hours ahead of, or uh, behind, ahead of West Coast. Hook, Japan, 13 hours ahead of East Coast. East Coast, three hours ahead of West Coast. And London is four hours ahead of East Coast. That'd be 3 a.m. for my Londonites. <laughs> I have a vampire. I've watched too much Twilight. We definitely need to, uh... We definitely need to do a Twilight watch-along just for Biffy at this point. Never ask a, a Hasper Hale what he was doing in the 1860s. <laughs> hey, I get this reference. I don't. Although I watched Buffy, so I can imagine the similarities. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what time it goes on. I just care that it doesn't move. Just stay put. Gosh dang you. <laughs> mm. 
But I like the time because it's closer to Japan. Because in standard time, Japan is 14 hours ahead, but in daylight savings time, it's only 13 hours ahead. So, there you go. <laughs> anyway, day three? Yeah, day three, I secured a vehicle. Hopefully, this will make things easier to catch. It's a little UTV. The UTV was really fun. That was definitely on my bucket list of driving a UTV through the beach and desert. Because uh, I was able to like see a lot of the island via that method. And... uh yeah, it was pretty fun. Cause like, on the in the beach area, it's like kind of like your typical view of a desert island. You got beach, you got palm trees, but then if you drive like inland, like a couple kilometers, a couple miles, then it's all just like desert, like cactuses and sprawling mountains. There was like a, a deactivated volcano or something. <laughs> what is it? A dormant volcano, I guess. It was a mountain that looked like it was a volcano, and I'm pretty sure it was a volcano. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was pretty, pretty effing epic. That's something else I miss. I miss about Japan is the uh, the beautiful scenery. You don't get a lot of that good scenery. You just see a lot of cows, I suppose, in Tri-State. <laughs> but I don't know, man. That was pretty fun. I definitely enjoyed that. And next, I want to. Uh, what is this? Probably part of my cookie. Okay, we're putting that over here. <laughs> I just like how I can see when people type, so I'm like, oh, hold on, before I move on to my next topic. Ah, uh, yes, Tri-State, known for its cows. <laughs> There's a lot of areas in Tri-State that have cows. Like in the Jersey, Pennsylvania area, up upstate New York. I'm not 100% sure what Tri-State is. <laughs> I think that's the tri-state, the New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. I'm not 100% sure. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The next thing I want to do is I want to do a go-kart through rural Japan. Because uh, they do do go-karts in Tokyo. Because that, that's like the famous one where you can do like Mario Kart and whatnot. But I wouldn't want to do that because uh, it's Tokyo. You're going to run into traffic a lot of the time. And it's just skyscrapers like i like tokyo i like akiba is like one of my favorite places in the entire world if not my favorite place in the entire world but um yeah the scenery is not what you go there for you know like driving around no 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 no. you don't do that go go kart local logan paul moment <laughs> yeah that too but um north of tokyo like somewhere in northern japan i don't think it was north as what i was in fukushima but uh Fukushima Akita, that's where I was. But uh I think it's like a little bit south of that, but like north somewhere in northern Japan. You can do go-karts uh in like a mountain village. It's like in the middle of nowhere with like through like mountains and like giant like landscapes. It looked really beautiful. I wanna do that. UTV for a desert deserted island was also on my bucket list, but definitely go-karting for rural mountainous Japan is definitely on my bucket list. This is my next that's my next thing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, UTV was really fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh that day I uh that evening I crashed into a lake, so I do not have that mode of transportation anymore, but it's fine, don't worry about it. And then that day I also did a video tour of the uh shack. I'm looking at the video, and uh, it's a pretty primitive at that point. It's only got, like, a bathroom and a, a bedroom. But since then, I've added, like, a little breakfast nook. I added... How much battery do I have? 45. I'm good. Hello, everyone. Just thought I'd give you a quick update on my desert island adventure. It's day... Um... Three, maybe? I don't know. It's been, it's, you it, it, see, days just blend together out here. Just wanted to show you that I got, I got this cool shack that the pirates helped me build yesterday. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's the, uh, the vehicle I procured completely, uh, 
uh, is fine. I just found it somewhere in the forest. It's pretty cool, right? So there's the bed. There's the bathroom. And uh, I don't know, man. I'll find a bucket for rainwater soon, I hope. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I still have no idea where I am or how I'm going to get off this island. But, uh, you know, one thing at a time. I need uh, food. So we'll see what happens. I added a breakfast nook. I added a uh, a fridge. I got a fridge out there. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You getting off the island, Moses? Yeah, I just need my Beyblade and get the Moses. Blade? Ba blade? Babe? It's not Babe Blade. Is it, it's Beyblade? Beyblade. B-A-Y. Hell yeah. Or maybe I learn the true meaning of uh, my place in the universe and I become like an alchemist master or whatever. <laughs> what happened in Fullmetal Alchemist? They went to an island and they, they had to like learn. There was a sign, there was like a scene of like baby Ed and he was like lying on the ground. He was like, he was dying. He was looking at the ants and he's like, oh, even, even if we die, the, the world moves on without us. You know, it's like the flow of the world or whatever. <laughs> Beyblade. Yeah, Beyblade is the uh, gotcha reboot that they're going to do. Don't worry. Imagine having seen Full Metal Alchemist. I know. Should have waited until Tevin was here. Tevin knows everything about Full Metal Alchemist lore. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, UTV to uh, uh, Beach Hut. <laughs> and then. Um, that evening in the UTV, um, I, I, listen, he jumped out of nowhere, okay? He, he just, I was driving along safely, and, like, suddenly this fully cooked shish kebab just jumped out in front of my UTV, and I, I hit the poor guy, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that poor shish kebab. And then I went over to him, and I, I gave him some parting words. I was with him in his final moments, and his dying words were, um... I lived a full life, make use of this body of mine. <laughs> and it was delicious. Just saying. Absolutely delicious. One of those meats that melt in your mouth. Mm. Mm. I'm not too sure what kind of meat he was made of. <laughs> it was, I don't think it was chicken. It might have been like pork or beef. He was delicious. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then I think day four... Four, the day after that was flamingos. I ran into some flam some Chilean flamingos. That one dad is a mean or something. What? <laughs> oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I don't know. There's some guy. Is he does a he goes, and then everything goes. Whoosh. <laughs> anyway, next day was the Chilean flamingos. Am I saying that right? Chillin' flamingos, chill flamingos, chill penguin. <laughs> I'm going I'm going back. Chillian flamingo. Chill iron. Chillin? 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 Chillin. I met some flamingos. They're pretty cool. That's a really good shot. I had to put a filter on that to make the water more blue, but like that's that's pretty cool. The water is like super blue. Like I was swimming out there, I could see like um on a sunny day, I could see like eight feet, like eight, ten feet down. It was pretty sick. <clears throat> but yeah, I asked for the flamingos, like, hey guys, do you know how to get off this island? I'm like, eh, island? What's an island? And I'm like, uh, it's what we're on. Ah, this is this is an island. Sick. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, do you know do you know where we are? Because if I know where I am, then I know how to get. Then I can swim back to shore. They're like, uh, we are on the island apparently. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but like, where's everything else? It's like, well, the uh place to get shrimp is over there, and the place to lay eggs is right here. <laughs> and uh, Ted's house is over there. Uh, he's an asshole. <laughs> Don't talk to him. 
Uh, he stole one of my shrimp, and I'm very mad about it. <laughs> they do got, like, little pink uh, kneecaps. It's pretty cool. And little webbed feet. They're adorable. I love them. <laughs> and then, um... I said, uh, while savage salvaging for parts to build an expansion to my hut to add a breakfast nook, I found a sign that was in Dutch. I wonder if this is a clue for to find out where I am. I also found uh, some some metal. Got some metal over here. Some digging around in the sand. I got some metal. Pretty cool. They look like uh, they're like little like metal pieces with like faces on them. It's pretty cool. It can almost looks like money, but I would say it's not money. Because one of the pieces that kind of looks similar to the others are a square. I don't know. I don't know of any square money. I have no idea. That's some ASMR action for you. But yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, that's toilet paper. <laughs> the money that's toilet paper. Well, I'm sure it's better than what I've been using for toilet paper. <gasps> I dropped my square money. That's probably money, right? I mean, even if it is money, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh... Who, wh what am I going to spend it on? The pirates? Maybe if the pirates come back, I can, um... Give the, I can buy something off of them. <laughs> then maybe they'll take my money. Also, Mario Kart DLC good. Is Mario Kart DLC out? That's what the stream died on last time. We were, we were looking at the Mario Kart 8 trailer, and I was saying about how, like, yeah, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look up to, like, Mario Kart 8 standards, because Mario Kart 8 tracks look really gosh dang good, but it still looks pretty good. It's out? That's crazy. Good thing I brought my Switch. <laughs> and I have a power source. Basically, what I'm using for a power source is uh, there's, like, a little crab on a hamster wheel. That I and then I took a um, some hair off a coconut and kind of made that into like an electricity wire, and then I plugged my phone charger into that. Of course, it looked better than the original trailer. I saw the trailer that they just posted. That's what the that's what the stream died on. Ninja course is very pretty. I gotta play that. Is that Japan? I want to play on the Japan course. I want to close my eyes, pretend I'm in Japan and not on a deserted island. I want to go back, and I want to build my computer. I know what I want. I know the parts that I want. But I know the GPU. I know the video card and CPU I want. Everything else is, like, doesn't really matter. Tokyo one is a separate course. Is that not in? Did that not come out? Because in the trailer I watched, that, that was in there, the Tokyo course. Whatever. <clears throat> He's typing. I like how I can see people typing. I wish I could activate that, except that'd be really bad with more than, like, ten viewers. <laughs> it is then just separate from the ninja one? Okay. Yeah. Because, again, Akiba is, like, my favorite place on planet Earth. So, yeah. I like Japan. I like anime. I like Japan, period. That's how that went. <laughs> Anyway, I should download and play that tomorrow. I should download that now and play it. <laughs> so let's try to end the stream. Before I run out of battery, okay, I got 43%. I'm good. I think I started the stream like two hours ago at like 70, so I think we're okay. <laughs> my cookie. Mm, I like my cookie. It's funny watching Dom stream talking about how he hates anime the next day coming in here. It's like yin and... We're like yin and yang, really. <laughs> you know, two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Constantly in an eternal struggle or whatever. But we can't survive without the other. <laughs> That's really funny. Because <laughs> I've, I've jumped into a couple of his streams. And that's what they're usually talking about, some weird crap. Like, they were talking about, like, what Pokemon guy is the hottest. <laughs> that's so funny. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm been paranoid because I invited him, so I don't know if he can just show up <laughs> and be like, I heard you talking shit. <laughs> Oh, this dude is Galactic Knight. That's sick. I should have had you draw art for my uh, fanfic. <laughs> You're so sick. That's hella, that's hella rad. That's the guy. <laughs> that's the guy. It's him. It's Galactic Knight. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what they're going to add in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Because they can just reuse all the models from the last Kirby game is what they're doing. But that's, like, everything. That's, like, you got Galactonite. You got Morphonite. You got um, Adeline. You got the Fairy. You got Gooey. <laughs> you got Naked DDD, apparently. Excuse me. <laughs> that's really sick. I'm going to give that uh, ad reaction, and I'm just going to be fire! <laughs> I want Morpho to kill the lowest common denominator players. That was also something we were talking about in the last stream, is how I found out, I replayed, I played some more of Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and I found out that A, Banana Waddle Dee can taunt, he has the same taunts as Kirby, but I don't know why I didn't like try that, this is something I forgot about. The reaction to him slaying in 3D. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then also, uh, Kirby Forgotten Land has witch time. <laughs> like, if you dodge at the very last second, you basically have witch time. It's not even like Breath of the Wild Fury Rush, because Breath of the Wild Fury Rush was like, you could either like attack a bunch of times or shoot arrows, but I don't think you could do much else. But Kirby, it just slows down. You could do whatever you want. You could run around. You could move. You could uh, dodge again. It's basically just witch time. That's really sick. You can't you can't witch time every enemy though. Like I know it's like you can do all the boss attacks. Sometimes the boss attacks don't work. Like you try to dodge the things, but then they hit you anyway because the hitbox doesn't go away. It's exactly like witch time, right? No. <laughs> If there, I did a, I did a touch, I touched my thing. My earphone touched the back of my ear weirdly, and I made a weird noise. <laughs> I sneezed. Did you go back and translate all the signs? That's I don't know about that one. No, but yeah, it doesn't. It's not like a free thing. You just get out of the way and dodge the move. So like the gorilla, like big arm. If you don't dodge in the right direction, then he can still hit you. Not so you can't dodge everything. Like, any enemy that, like, actively attacks you, you can, like, uh, uh, witch time. But, like, the little, like, tiki heads that just kind of spin around in circles, there's you can't do anything about that. Amoongus. What are we talking about? Oh. Saying the P in the fake language looks like Amoongus. Didn't I bring that up in that stream? I don't know. Anyway, back to my story, because I do want to end the stream. <laughs> Cause I'm sleepy. I need to. I have another full day of uh, trying to figure out where I am and building a raft or something. Cause I gotta get off. I gotta get off this island. I want to play. I want to build a computer and play Kirby. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. During that day, during the flamingo day, I found a. Uh, I found an ab abandoned flamingo chick. <clears throat> I found an abandoned flamingo chick in the sand. But don't worry. I will nurse him back to health, and he will be my best friend. I'll name him Flamingo Nagai, named after the manga author, named after the manga author Go Nagai. I'm really bad with names. I'm sorry, Flamingo Nagai, Go Nagai. But yeah, Go Nagai uh, made a bunch of like important manga, like uh, Cutie Honey and Singer, one of the first uh, magical girl and robot shows. Also made Devil Man, I think. He's sick. Did you? <laughs> I missed it because I was talking. Flaking on the stream around then. Make sure you flee your flamingo young bee crimson red crop milk. Excuse me? I think I heard that they get their pink color from eating shrimp. So yeah, I'll make sure Mr. Nagai gets a lot of shrimp. He's currently holding my cup right now. 
He's cool. I'm really upset that no more people aren't commenting on my photos because I have a bunch of funny responses planned. But in case you're wondering why he's so smooth and looks like he's made out of inflatable plastic, that's just what baby flamingos look like. He hasn't grown in his like full wings yet. <laughs> he's just a baby. How many shrimps do you have to eat? You mean feed him before he turns pink? He's already kind of pink, so I think uh, before he was abandoned or his parents were murdered or whatever, uh, he ate a bunch of shrimp, so I'll continue to feed him shrimp. Flamingos don't actually eat much shrimp. Are you sure? Because there was, like, another part of the island that had, like, more white flamingos. They looked like the same type of flamingos, but they weren't as, like, pink. And apparently that's because there's not as many shrimp over there on that part. But hey, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And yeah, that was the most recent thing that happened. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, hey, I can do a deserted island Twitter space. Oh yeah, and also during that last stream, another thing that happened is I got a text from uh, my cousin and uh, my mom's boyfriend's daughter, who ra apparently ran into the pirates. <laughs> And uh, they got sh uh, they got shot from the pirates, <laughs> and the pirates like were like, "Hey, where's where they 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 knew they found out that the pirates knew me, and they're like, "Hey, where's have you seen have you seen Fireboy? Have you seen him? Where is he?" And the pirates were like, "I don't know, man. I just drive. I'm just driving. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. I Chilean Chilean flamingos just aren't very pink. They look pretty pink to me." Especially my baby. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty pink. They got, like, pink little tips. They got pink tips. Right? Pink tips. <laughs> I'm so happy about Daylight Savings Time. Yeah, I think everyone's to bed. <laughs> well, it has to be, like, a, like a Monday night or something. Right? I have no idea. <laughs> It is nighttime. That could be another. That could be another hint, because right now it is pretty nighttime, and my my phone is not did not update the time, because probably didn't have any GPS signal. But it seems to be pretty like average about sunrise and sunset time. Check the weather app. It says sunrise is like almost seven, and sunset is almost seven. Dang, twelve hours of sunlight. You know, I, I'm okay with just chilling on this deserted island for a couple more decades. <laughs> you know, I've already, I already got the shack. I already got this. I got Mr. Nagai. I got a friend. I got pirates coming by and helping me every so often. What are we talking about? Pigment and shrimp is called car carotenoid. Also found salmon and krill. Maybe that's why the flamingos get pink, because they have the, the salmon and krill also have the pink stuff. There we go. Before we just had individual DMs, and then uh somebody, Tevin, I think, made this whole DM. So yeah, I don't know. The whole th that's that's what we need. If anyone knows, if anyone can figure out how to uh what was this picture that Sakurai just posted? Sorry, if anyone knows, ah, uh, sick. More index art. Sorry. What's up? Just looking at Twitter real fast. Uh, did the first episode of Spy X Family come out? I gotta watch that. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I moved my phone away because I was gonna take a widow dwink. If I want to go to bed soon, I probably shouldn't be drinking soda. But hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just realized it's like uh, eleven thirty, which again, time doesn't really uh, matter here when you're on a deserted island. But you know, I gotta, I gotta get up. I gotta get up early so I can. I saw a sea turtle. Okay, hold on. One last thing I'll repeat from my last story adventure is that um. 
In addition to flamingos, I also I was looking around for at the bottom of the ocean for a uh, fridge um, earlier today, and I saw a sea turtle, and the sea turtle dabbed. <laughs> he did a dab. Yeah, I was like swimming out in the ocean. It was like um, it's like a five ten minute swim, not a, like a five ten minute swim. I don't know. I'm a really bad swimmer, so let's call it like a, a two to five minute swim, and. Um, the ocean's like super clear. I was, I've not used a clear ocean. Even when I went to Japan, um, the ocean still was like pretty murky. But like I could see like I was like out there and I could look down and I could see like I had like little goggles on. And I could see like 10 feet down, like super clear. And there was just a turtle, sea turtle, like swim, swimming around just off the coast. He was like ch- chomping on some grass that was at the bottom. And he got some grass like stuck on the side of his face and he tried to use like his elbow to like rub it off and it looked like he did a dab <laughs> he did a dab sea turtle dab sea turtle kind of sick though mirrors aren't green sea turtles are green dab maybe what he was eating was green <laughs> but he's cool sea turtle was was definitely a big highlight so far it's just a random sea turtle i was like man i thought you had to go to like out deep deep to see that sea turtle but no he was just hanging out it wasn't even like that much of a swim like i'm not a great swimmer i could backpedal but i cannot do anything else <laughs> but i was able to make it out there with just a, a snorkel i soon have a char emoji and that makes me happy oh boy uh we have a turtle just a regular turtle S E A T U R. There's no sea turtle emoji. I've definitely also seen lots of crabs. No otters, unfortunately. But yeah, I saw uh, flamingos. I saw a bunch of crabs. I saw a bunch of uh, lizards. I saw an iguana. He was cool. Uh, I saw a bunch of iguanas. They were just kind of like, sur- they, I just looked up and realized that they had surrounded me. And I'm like, oh boy, that's a lot of iguana. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I think they were like on the, the same part that the, the flamingos were at. Imagine thinking otters live on islands. I want to just see otters, you understand? <laughs> I want all a skull was an umigame. Sea turtle. I like sea turtle in Japanese is literally the same thing as English, but just sea and then turtle. Umi and game. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And then I also saw a horny ostrich. (laughs) Five Boy says he knows his persona would be an otter. Otters are playful and free and wild and beautiful, and I can definitely relate. If I just let out my instincts, I would definitely just be an otter. Ostrich. Yes, it was an ostrich. I found, I saw, I saw an ostrich, and he came up to me, and they, he started, he, like, bent down and, like, sprawled out his feathers and started, like, rotating side to side like he was doing a dance, and um, there was, like, a, a pirate there, and I'm like, uh, what is that ostrich doing? And the pirate's like, oh, yeah, he's just horny. <laughs> <laughs> he said it so casually. I was like, uh, is that ostrich dancing? That's pretty cute. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's just horny. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, apparently I am a very attractive ostrich. <laughs> where the ostrich? Where the F are you, bro? I think you're lying. I don't know what an ostrich I don't think you know what an ostrich is. Yeah, I thought the ostrich thing was sus. Hold on. I can find a picture. I can. F- I will. I if I can't find a picture right now, I'll definitely post a picture. Da, da, da. Cause I definitely saw an ostrich. Hopefully, my Twitter space is still working. When I leave the Twitter app for too long, then the Twitter the space stopped working. Am I still audible? Okay, it looks like I'm still good. 
They do not live on islands, sir. I told you it's like a desert. Pointy ostrich dance. That's a video? Oh, it's like a live photo. Yeah, I'll find a vi I'll post a video. I'll post a picture later. But I can definitely show you uh some ostrich pictures. I found a bowl and I could f the pirate gave me a bowl and I could feed them. I also have some a action shots of his horny dance. <gasps> Is it working? Okay, okay. I think it's still working. There's no natural island where a Chilean flamingo and an ostrich would meet. <laughs> I think it stopped working because you tried watching a trailer. Maybe that was it. Maybe like playing another video with audio was broke it. But yeah, so I saw I saw a horny ostrich. There were also um, emus were also hanging around there too. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I think the oh yeah, there's also been a bunch of cats and dogs that have just been hanging around, and chicken. There was also a chicken. I almost drove over a chicken in uh, my UTV. Bro, shut the F up. <laughs> I gotta finish my soda. <laughs> it was an ostrich, awesome. not share a habitat. Maybe, maybe that's a hint. Listen, Diffy, maybe that's a hint. Maybe, like, the ostriches and the emus are like, maybe the pirates brought them over. <gasps> maybe they were stowaways on the pirate ship. You're making me upset. <laughs> <coughs> You're making me upset. <laughs> but what if that's a hint of where I am? Guys, I don't think you guys are, no. Um, I can't figure it out. You guys have to help me, and I cannot get off this island until you help me. <laughs> you live in modded Minecraft? <laughs> Sword Art Online. I tried VR earlier, and uh, I played unrelated to my island, desert island adventure, but I played VR before my, you know, whatever. And uh, I played that one, it was, it's like that one game that I saw videos of where like you go up in an elevator and there's like a plank of void that you have to walk out onto. And uh, yeah, because I saw those videos and I'm like, that looks, that looks entertaining, but really dumb. But like, then I, then I tried it and I realized that I've never done VR before. And then I put it on and I'm like, this is way too goddamn real. And then... <laughs> And then I tried to do it, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't walk out into the plank. <laughs> also, the guy who I did, I went to, like, a place to do VR. And the guy, he was like, as soon as I stepped onto the plank, I was already like, oh, my God, this is way scarier than I thought it would be. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I did, and then I, I, so, and then I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I stepped, like, two, I, I did, took, like, one step onto the plank. And then the guy who was running it, like, moved the plank over and I was like it's falling it's falling no <laughs> so funny dude <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that real I definitely gotta buy a VR headset <laughs> I think I think I, I think I did want to buy a VR headset after my computer I was, and I, should I just wait for the PS5 headset I feel like that should be a, I feel like that would be a good idea no oh, am I being raided I think I might be being raided soon, so I should probably stop. Because I'm, I'm the being away. I think the native islanders might, uh, the, the all the ostriches and emus and iguanas <laughs> and flamingos and sea turtles are gonna find my location, and me and Mister the guy, my baby flamingo friend, can only do so much. The pirates did not teach me any sort of self defense techniques. <laughs> When he posted that flamingo picture, I did attempt to cross-reference Chilean flamingo habitat ranges on the island tourism. And island tourism? Is fucking islands. 
Hey, hey, teacher, what fucking island you talking about? <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So uh, I can't leave. I, I could build a boat. I could just chop down like a big tree, cut it in half, and then shove my like um shit of like huts onto the tree and then just shove out for the island. But I gotta know which direction I'm going. Cause I could be if be uh stuff like if I'm close to Chile that I could go west. I had to think about that for a minute. I had to get east and west mixed up. But if I'm on the other side, then if I go west, then I could go way too far and be stranded at sea. So here's our here's our hint so far, okay? We met some pirates. I don't know where pirates hang around. We met some pirates. It's really effing hot. It's still uh, U.S. East Coast time. Uh, there were some Dutch signs. And I also found, like, this small metal pieces some of them were round and had faces on them like money but some of them were square and we found some chilean chilean flamingos and uh ostriches (laughs) bro i think you're in hell (laughs) oh no i gotta start boating up what if it's just Kingdom Hearts? Maybe I should just build a boat and see what happens. Because in Kingdom Hearts, once they build a boat, then the island like disappeared into darkness. And then Sora woke up in Traverse Town. And I'm like, I could probably find my way home from Traverse Town, right? I could run, in, I could run into Neku, and then Neku could take me back to Shibuya. And then from Shibuya, then I could get back. The door. Did somebody say the door to darkness? Not taken to the do- star universe. The door has opened. Remove your shirt to remain in continuity. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> there was only shirtless Sora once in the Atlantis world. Both, twice, both Atlantis's worlds. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Okay, we're gonna stop. Just stop. We're gonna stop quoting Kingdom Hearts, and we're gonna end the stream because I got. Uh, it's really late, and I don't have a lot of battery left. But I did record the stream. We do have the. Uh, yeah, it's recording. We have the chat thing. <laughs> if I ever get back to civilization and have a computer, I will probably try to save this. I either be really lazy and uh, just grab the MP3 and then throw over some pictures over it, or I could not be lazy and I could actually like include the whole chat. All right, let's obey me now, Sora. I, now I have nothing to fear. Or whatever. When did Riku get t- taken in by Ansem? It's definitely near the near the end of the game. He got Ansemed. But, like, earlier, like, when Maleficent was like, ah, oh, see, Sora has new friends. You don't need him anymore. It seemed like that was just Riku. But I don't know, then who took the Keyblade? Because Riku couldn't, like, immediately, you think? Maybe it was, like, a, a progressive thing. Maybe, like, Anthem was, like, slowly gaining control of Riku throughout the game. Before, like, he completely took over near the end. Because Riku had the key, had a keyblade. He stole Sora's keyblade in Hollow Bastion, and like Ansem couldn't have done that because he was a heartless. We're talking about Kingdom Hearts Four. We need to stop. I'm ending the stream. I hope everybody enjoyed. I should. I might do more Twitter streams in the future. I don't know. Maybe more like maybe if I'm like out away from my computer, I might do that. But like, I feel if if I want to just do like a chatting stream, I feel no reason to not just do a YouTube stream, right? Like over like a blank picture, so at least we can have chat. 
<laughs> and I can show pictures if I want to. Because this is literally just audio. Like, for chat, we have to make, like, a DM group. <laughs> Which is fine for, like, if three people are here. But anything else, maybe not. You can also do a Discord. Make a Discord group, and that would be the chat room. I really don't know why there's no chat on Twitter spaces. I really... I guess they just really want to encourage people to, like, to use it as, like, a Discord call, like a group chat, and not, like, a streaming kind of thing. I don't know. A lot of, I know a lot of uh, other people, like, I know a lot of uh, VTubers use Twitter spaces. Okay, I thought I heard I was being raided. <laughs> I don't know. You can request, I can request the mic and yell DK jar. Yeah, that's exactly why uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> He's being guided by Maleficent of the game, then went around the round that Neverland quote I just did. He probably got gut. <laughs> yeah, maybe the Nether, Nether, maybe Netherlands, Netherlands, Neverland. Let me have the mic, coward. <laughs> um, absolutely not. We also can't let Mars speak because uh, he won't. I have a. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what was that noise? I was saying, I was saying, I can't let Mars speak because he would ruin the voice that I have for him in my head. One day I'll have to reveal my voice, and then you all know the ugly truth. <laughs> That's not how it is at all. But that was a request for uh, Biffy to speak. That's what that noise was. Uh, request it denied. Okay, I think I gotta go. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I think I'm being raided by, uh, all the wildlife here. <laughs> but I hope you know, and if anyone knows where I am, if anyone figures it out, uh, and if anyone has any questions, if, like, you guys, like, hey, do you see any, like, trees or stuff? I could definitely answer. Maybe we can figure this out together. Do your impression of my voice? I like DK Jar. Um, out of curiosity, please do your impression from my voice. That's not it at all. I'm so sorry. I want to kind of want to reveal it now. Okay, I gotta go. It's getting really late. I gotta get up early to start building a raft and uh, finding food and whatnot. So this will be on YouTube. I don't know. It's hurtful. I'm sorry, Bibby. I was just doing a meme. I love you. I think it'd be funny if you had a... Actually, I think it'd be cool if you had, a, like, a sexy voice, but you were still obsessed with DK Jar. Like, um, hello there. Uh, may I interest you in a jar full of Donkey Kong? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm being raided. So, uh, yeah, this will definitely be on YouTube. I don't know when, whenever I get back to my computer. And, uh, but I, and I don't know with what level of editing I will do it with. Because I have this uh, chat with, like, timestamps. So I could if I really wanted to, but that'd be a lot of effort. Uh-oh, you got, yo, you freaking moron, you just got corroded? Tag your friends and totally corroded them. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. This will be on YouTube. Uh, try to help figure out where I am. The adventure continues. Uh, follow me on Twitter for more island updates or if I'm still alive. And in the future, I will build a computer and I will do a bunch of cool mod games. Uh, Ocarina of Time is getting a PC port. I'm definitely, I want to replay Ocarina of Time and that would be a great way to do it. Um, yeah, like a fan-made PC port, obviously. <laughs> can't, man, can't say. Carderoid. Carderoid? Corderoid? Corderoid? Whatever, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Kirby... Mario Kart, computers, getting off this island in the future. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Corderoid. Okay, anyway, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> That's probably like a slang in some language. Okay, goodbye. I hope you all enjoyed this impromptu stream. I'm really glad it went well. Remind me to use these headphones again because they apparently have a microphone built in them. Goodbye. See you all later. Hope you enjoyed. Help me figure out where I am.
I'm not, never giving Biffy the mic. Goodbye. Hopefully I'll get off this island eventually. Me, me and the guy will get off this island, I swear to you. Even if it's the last thing we do. Okay, bye. Bye! See you later! Thanks for joining. This was a lot of fun. Okay, bye.